Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC 160 alongside Jeremy Stevens, who just defeated Estevan Payan via unanimous decision. And congratulations to you, Jeremy. A very good featherweight debut for you. Were you happy with your performance? Yeah, very happy, man. This, uh, this win's been a long time coming. Really had to climb the ladder to get here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a long road, but uh, the journey was worth it, you know. How was the weight cut? It was good. I had uh, George Lockhart from Fitness VT help me out. And uh, I prepared uh, a long time for this. You know, I knew I was going to come down here. I wanted to take advantage of it as soon as I could so it didn't become a problem. Even though I did have to cut a pound and a half, uh, you know, 30 minutes before weigh-ins, I, I still feel good. The, the way he has me uh, reload, rehydrate, it's amazing. You know, and uh, just thanks to Fitness VT and George Lockhart for helping me out. Ultimately, why did you decide that 145 was better for you? Uh, I, you know what? My coaches and I kind of thought about it for a long time, but when you knock guys out at 55, you know, you just kind of stick around the, the game, you know, and uh, uh, just uh, the right timing, I guess. You know, I'm turned 27 tomorrow, and uh, at 145 pounds, I feel great. And I'm, uh, I'm still very young in the game. You know, I, I kind of grew up inside the octagon and evolved and fought some of the great guys. So I have a ton of experience behind me, and I think at this uh, – Weight class, it's a new beginning, new, uh, new goals, new ambition, and a new drive for me. So I'm, I'm very happy. That was an incredibly bloody fight. The blood all over you, blood all over him, obviously due to his cut. How difficult was it to deal with that? Uh, I think I kind of cringed when I was inside the octagon. I had him, and we were kind of like head-to-head from -head my head position, and blood kind of dripped in my ear. Kind of like when you got like a sweaty guy kind of drips in your ear. You're like, ugh, you know, and I could, I could feel it. But, uh, you know, that's part of the game, man. That props to that kid. He's very tough, but uh, he's just fighting me at the wrong time right now. Did you feel like you had the same kind of power that you did at 155? Yeah, I do. You know, uh, you know, my coach says, you know, you're still looking for that knockout, you know, which, you know, that, that's just me, man. But uh, I, f I, f I feel faster. I feel lighter on my feet. My cardio feels great. My wrestling's awesome. Uh, I almost feel like I'm hitting harder with, with, with this weight class. I feel very strong, strong here, and I think this is my natural weight class, and it's been a long time coming. Last time we saw you, obviously, that was a disappointing performance for you. we never seen you get finished like that. How did you react? How long did it take for you to get over that? Oh, man, you know, I, I find strength in the struggle a lot, you know, and uh, Eves Edwards is a veteran. You know, I, uh, to be honest, I didn't have my head right on for that fight, and uh, that's my biggest weapon is my mentality. And without that, you know, I, I was kind of screwed. I was kind of more or less fighting for a paycheck there. And, uh, you know, that, that props to Eves, man. He, he, he's a great guy. I have nothing but respect for him. I think the better man lost that night. I, I took from it like I take from any other loss, and I learned from it and just uh, just move on. I know I have a chin, and uh, it was more or less me knocking myself out the way I was coming, all aggressive, you know, $60,000 on the line, and uh, I needed that money, so I was going for it, man. I, I have no shame in uh, going down swinging, you know. It's like Babe Ruth. You either hit a home run or you strike out, bro. <laughs> you mentioned your head not being on right. Was that due to your, your legal issues that you had just been dealing with a couple months prior? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's all I'll say about that, yeah. Where does that stand right now? What's the, the latest on that? Uh, it's looking good. I have, uh, I have a great lawyer in the Alfredo Parish Law Firm. Uh, Matt Bowles is my lawyer. It's, uh, it's, it's looking very good on my side, and uh, I'll just leave it at that. You have never commented on this. Is, is there anything you want to say about the situation? Uh, of course, you were supposed to fight in October, and that was a very ugly situation. Yeah. You didn't end up fighting. Is there anything you want to say about it? Uh, there's nothing really to say about it. It's in the past. You know, There's nothing I can really do about it. It's not in my control. And uh, just, uh, just keep my faith in God and know that everything's going to be all right. There'll be an update on it soon, or it will be resolved soon, in your opinion. I'm sure you guys will hear about it. It'll be, it'll be around. So, okay, thank you so much, and congratulations on a, on a great featherweight debut. Real quick, uh, I just want to thank uh, Manuel and uh, Leandro Lopez uh, for helping me out. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank, thank God. Thank uh, my family, my beautiful woman, Cindy Lopez, and my two little daughters back home. Daddy, see you soon.